Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 and in this video I am going to talk about how to use Microsoft Office in this phone. So let's start. So guys, Microsoft Office is pre-installed in this phone. You just have to open this Microsoft folder and here you see this Microsoft 365 Office app. You just have to open it and here it will ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have Microsoft account, you can create a free account by putting your email ID. I already have my Microsoft account, so I will sign in. So here is my dashboard after signing in. So here on top, you see this option option of Microsoft Word but it is not showing Excel and PowerPoint. So what you have to do is you just select these three dots and here you see this option of Excel. Just select this plus icon and then you see this PowerPoint as well. Just select this plus icon from here then press done. Now it will show you the Excel and PowerPoint in your dashboard. So now I will open the Excel. So just select this Excel from here then select this create option and then select this Excel and here you can select this blank workbook. So once you select this blank workbook, it will open this Excel sheet with all the tabs and all the necessary tools. The next thing is about bringing data from other apps into your Excel sheet. So I will take out this edge panel and then for example, I select this internet browser and I open it in split screen. Now here you can see I have this data and I want this data into my Excel sheet. I will use my S Pen and then I will press and hold it like this and then I will start selecting it. So I will select till here. Now again I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag it into my excel sheet like this. So here you can see I have this data available in my excel sheet. Now the next thing is for example if you want to edit this data just select it like this just double tap it like this. It will open this keyboard which is specifically designed for excel. So here you can see we have this sum option we have other symbols and we also have these numbers. The next thing is if you want to use the formulas. So here is the formulas tab and here we have all the different formulas option. For example, if you want to select the financial. So here are all the financial formulas and then we have this function library and then we also have this auto sum option. The next thing is if you want to write something with your S Pen on your Excel sheet, you can also do it. Just select this draw option and here we have pen tool and then you can write with your S Pen. The next thing is if you want to highlight something just select this highlighter and then you can highlight anything on your excel sheet. You can also share any data from your excel sheet into your notes as well. Just open this edge panel and then open the Samsung notes in split screen. Now for example I want this information into my notes. So what I can do is I just select this smart select tool and then I will select this data from my excel sheet. Okay, now I will just use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and I will drag and drop it here into my notes. So here you can see the same data is now available in my notes. The next thing is if you want to drag and drop any number directly from your Excel sheet into your notes, you can also do it. So for example, I will just select this part of my Excel sheet. Now I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and I can directly drag into my notes. So in that case I don't have to use the smart select option. The next thing is you can also open your calculator in pop-up view and you can also bring any data from your calculator into your Excel as well. So for example I will uh, do some calculation here. I will type some numbers, some symbols. Now I want this in my notes. So I will use my S Pen. I will press and hold it like this and I will select it till here. Now I will press and hold it again and and I can easily drag it into my Excel sheet like this and later I can edit it. The next thing that I want to mention here is whatever work you do on your Excel sheet, it will save automatically into Microsoft OneDrive. So here is the file option just selected. So you can see auto save is turned on. So your work will save in Microsoft OneDrive and Microsoft OneDrive will give you 5 GB of cloud storage. If you want the extra storage, you 
have to buy it if you want to save your work into your phone you can also do it just select this save as option and then select this device option and then you can save it in any folder inside your device now let's talk about powerpoint so here is the powerpoint option and then you have to select this create and then select powerpoint from here and then you can open blank presentation so here are all the tools for the powerpoint presentation then if you want to change the theme select this design option and here are the themes option you can select any theme from here for example i select this theme and the next thing is for example if you want to bring any image from your gallery into your powerpoint you can also do it just open the edge panel open the gallery in split screen now for example i like this image uh, from uh, my gallery and i want it in my presentation so i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and then i can easily drag it here into my powerpoint presentation and then i can change its size as well the next thing is if you want to bring any text from a website into your powerpoint presentation you can also do it just open the edge panel and then open the internet browser in split screen now for example i have this website and i want this text into uh, my presentation so i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i will select this text now i will press and hold it again and i will drag here into my powerpoint presentation so here is the text so if i just close it so the text is available here so here you can see i can change its size now if i want i can also edit it i can change its color and then if i want to add the transition the animations i can also do it the next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your powerpoint presentation just uh, bring down this quick panel option and then here you see this option of screen recorder and then start recording now whatever you do on your presentation you can record it if you want to highlight something important you can use this pen option and you can highlight anything important in your presentation if you want to use this pointer tool you can also use this pointer and then if you want to turn on the front camera you can also do it just select this option from here and your front camera is open and now you can record it as well once you finish with your recording you can just stop it from here your recording will be saved and later you can access it from your gallery if you want to do a presentation just select this presentation icon from here and then it will start your presentation the next thing is you can also use your s pen if you want to highlight something important in your presentation so here you can see i can use my s pen the next thing is about sharing your work so here is the sharing icon just select it once you select it it will create a link for you and you can send it to your friends or your colleagues so it is giving me the option of anyone with the link can add it so if you don't want them to edit just select this pen icon and then you can select this can view option and then they can only view your work now let's talk about microsoft word so here is the word then select this create and then open word from here and then select a blank document so it will open a blank document and here is the arrow so you just select this arrow and then it will open all the tools for microsoft word the next thing is for example you want to open another office app in split screen you can also do it just open this edge panel and then select this microsoft 365 app and open it in split screen now for example i want to open uh, some excel sheet so i will just scroll from here i will select excel and then i select this sheet from here now you can work on both of these apps for example you want to type something on word you can do it and now you want to work here on your excel sheet just select it and then you can also work here the next thing is you can also share data between these two apps for example i want this data into my microsoft word i can use my s pen so i will start selecting from here and then i select all this data now i will use my s pen i will press and hold it like this and i can drag it into my microsoft word so here i will put it so here you can see i have all this data available in my microsoft word and later i can add 
split it. The next thing is you can open another office app in split screen. So for example, I will take out this edge panel. Again, I will select this 365 app and I open here at the bottom side. So now, for example, I want PowerPoint and then for example, I select this presentation. So now you can see I have my PowerPoint, I have my Excel and I also have my Microsoft Word and I can also work in all of these three apps together the next thing is you can also change their position so here you can see you can change their position as well and then if you want to resize them you can also resize you can also share data from powerpoint as well to your word so for example i want this text and i can drag here into my microsoft word like that if you want to take a screenshot of these three apps you can also do it just open the air command and then select this screen right option once you select it it will take the screenshot and from here you can also select the screenshot for individual app so here is the icon for example i want to select the screenshot for powerpoint only so here is the powerpoint i will just select it and now it will show me the screenshot for powerpoint and now if you want you can do all your editing and once you finish you can save it the next thing is for example once you finish with your microsoft word work and you want to pin it to your screen you can also do it just open the air command and then use this smart select option and then select the part of your microsoft word that you want to pin so for example i want to pin this part so now you can see now it is selected and now here I can select this pin option and then it will pin it to my screen. Now even if I close Microsoft 365 app, so this pin available on my screen. But you can see it is taking a lot of space. I will just select it like this and then I can minimize it. So here it will make very small thumbnail like this and for example I open some other apps I want to work on some other apps and I also want to access my pin so I will just select it from here and it will open the pin for me and I can access it. So guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much.